TikTok is really a great platform. The half of the success is uh, creative. And after that, uh, test, test, test. Um, you should mix the traffic on uh, black goods and white goods. Still, uh, the most profitable is Facebook. Mm. <laughs> Everybody is on Facebook. Just uh, <laughs> once upon a time, read the policy of Facebook. <laughs> Are the e-commerce offers on Facebook still alive? Is it better to start using TikTok instead? These and others interesting topics will be discussed with Alona Burina, the K account manager at uh, AdSkill. But before we start our interview, please subscribe to the MyLead Affiliate Network channel. Hello, Alona. Can you please briefly introduce yourself and describe what are you specializing in at AdSkill? So, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Alona and I am a key account manager at AdSkill. Uh, we are the business partner of uh, Meta and we work with uh, such social networks uh, as uh, TikTok, uh, Bigo, Google, and uh, also Unity. I uh, usually help my partners to gain more profit from traffic. So I help them to start their ad campaigns, to make it better, uh, to work with audience, uh, uh, choose creatives, and so on and so forth. From your experience working with publishers and advertisers, what categories and geos are the most popular to work with on Facebook? There are a lot of different verticals and uh, offers on Facebook that are popular nowadays. Uh, but still, if we look at the kind of white side, I think uh, the most popular are e-commerce offers. Uh, uh, so uh, it can be goods or neutral offers, for example, or uh, different types of info offers. Uh, so courses, uh, um, investment courses, psychology courses, uh, and something like that. For e-commerce, um, I think the most popular is still Europe. Countries like uh, Italy, France, uh, Spain, uh, uh, countries of uh, uh, <coughs> East Europe, publishers, uh, um, <clears throat> sell traffic to uh, uh, Latin America countries um, uh, for e-commerce and neutral offers. Um, for um, info offers, I think this is more for these countries. So Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, um, and something like that. And what about Black Hat? Are those categories also popular on uh, Facebook among publishers? Financial offers, neutral offers, uh, some kinds of uh, gambling or betting offers uh, are still popular on Facebook. But uh, uh, we face with the um, changes in algorithms. Uh, they changing, <laughs> I think, every month, uh, sometimes uh, every week. Uh, so uh, day by day, it uh, becomes uh, uh, more difficult to use these kinds of offers. What models are the best for beginners? PPI or maybe CPI or maybe others? It's difficult to answer this question because um, <laughs> it depends on the beginner, in my opinion. Most important point in this case uh, is uh, the ability to count your numbers and to estimate the suitable metrics uh, inside of social network uh, and uh, um, <clears throat> estimate these metrics then in uh, affiliate network. In my opinion, the easiest one is CPL, of course. But uh, actually for another uh, publisher, uh, probably um, other models uh, can be easier than this. For example, e-commerce usually uh, use CP, uh, CPS or CPA model. How to work with e-commerce offers on Facebook and scale your promotion up? The algorithms uh, in Facebook uh, are changing <laughs> every month. Uh, so uh, nowadays we face with the problem of uh, uh, the lack of ability to use um, uh, one-page landing sites. Uh, and this model is um, <laughs> kind of ancient nowadays. Um, and we promote uh, the using of uh, marketplaces um, 
What is that? Uh, it is the kind of online shop like, uh, for example, Wildberries uh, or on Amazon, uh, where you put a lot of different goods, a lot of different products, uh, and then you uh, copy this um, um, catalog of goods inside your business manager on Facebook. Why it works? Uh, because um, uh, Facebook has a double check of, the, uh, of your offers. So uh, it checks it uh, in the catalog in Business Manager and then uh, when you start your ad campaign. So uh, Facebook che uh, checks your ads mm, as usual. How to avoid getting banned on Facebook? If you use the, this type of model, um, uh, you should understand that uh, we have uh, different types of goods. For example, we have uh, a kind of uh, white goods and black goods. And uh, when you start your ad campaign, you should understand that uh, well, goods uh, of the black side uh, uh, have a lot of bad comments from users, uh, negative experience, and you should mix the traffic on uh, black goods and white goods. Uh, so that is how um, we may prevent our uh, business page from ban, uh, because it uh, uh, won't have the... Uh, low um, <clears throat> uh, rating inside uh, Facebook. Social media doesn't like affiliate links. That is why the MyLead Affiliate Network offers a hide link tool, which can help with this situation. Can you describe um, other ways of masking links? We work as an agency um, on the <laughs> mostly white side. We use the um, tools that uh, are recommended by Facebook. Um, for example, uh, we recommend our users uh, to check the no domains that they uh, use uh, on, uh, for example, Web of Trust. This is a special platform uh, to understand the rating of the domain. And uh, also check it uh, on the debugger uh, in Facebook for developers. Uh, uh, to uh, understand if uh, this domain is blocked on Facebook or not. What tools allow you to minimize blocking of advertising accounts or business pages? That's a good question. Uh, I think the main tool is uh, to um, follow the easiest rules of social network. So, for example, uh, there is a rule of 111 one uh, business page, one offer, uh, <clears throat> and one domain on the ad account. So if you follow this rule, you will not get banned for the easiest points of uh, uh, Facebook policy. Then, of course, uh, goes uh, the fulfillment of business page. Nowadays, it is very important to <clears throat> fill uh, all information inside the business page in Facebook. There are lots of... Um, small moments uh, inside your ad campaign, uh, like uh, um, words and creatives in videos uh, or in texts, uh, some um, pictures on landing page. Uh, so uh, I recommend everybody just uh, <laughs> once upon a time read the policy of Facebook and uh, uh, don't make the um, <laughs> the uh, this uh, kind of mistakes and uh, uh, it uh, may help you to uh, prevent your ad accounts, uh, for example, from ban. Can you describe what white listing is and how to use this tool to scale promotion? For example, we want uh, um, to work with the dating offer or betting offer and uh, we need to verify it on Facebook, uh, how it works. Uh, you have an offer, for example, uh, app um, and uh, you have a license and uh, you fulfill the special form that you can find uh, in the Facebook policy uh, where you write your name, uh, your ad account uh, where you want to uh, advertise this offer. Also you put there your license and uh, then uh, <laughs> you give it to the support of Facebook. Uh, then you have an answer from support and uh, they give you recommends uh, what to do with the app link or uh, with the inside picture of the app uh, 
or or what should be inside the license uh, to uh, verify this product uh, inside the platform. And then after you have this uh, type of verification, uh, you will not have uh, ad account ban for the product. Uh, so as we all know, for example, uh, betting is uh, uh, restricted on Facebook. And if you uh, don't have the verification, uh, you have just uh, uh, a lot of bans for the uh, product. You may have this type of verification for neutral offers where you can verify your business manager and uh, uh, again, uh, don't have bans for the uh, products, for the bots or creams that we all know. These days, TikTok is a very popular platform and a lot of publishers are taking traffic from it to other offers or other social networks. So how to work with TikTok in general? TikTok is really a uh, great platform and it's really cool for traffic nowadays. Why uh, we may say it? Uh, uh, firstly, because uh, uh, we have uh, still human moderation on TikTok. So uh, we may use a lot of different types of offers that we can't use uh, on Facebook, for example. Uh, and uh, get traffic from TikTok on these offers. What is good about TikTok that uh, uh, this platform develops very fast and uh, uh, there are a lot of different tools uh, to work with. And what are those tools that uh, can help publishers gain more traffic from TikTok? For example, in uh, TikTok there is a great creative center. Uh, where you can have a look on the uh, top creatives from other publishers uh, and uh, make your uh, videos better. For example, use uh, mm, different types of um, <clears throat> tools uh, inside this uh, creative center uh, to mm, gain more uh, audience uh, uh, from this video or from this creative. Mm, also, there are, uh, there are a lot of types of uh, optimizations that uh, um, <clears throat> we may use uh, to um, diversificate uh, audience, uh, like uh, value-based optimization, uh, optimization for purchases, um, for example, in uh, uh, use uh, apps. Mm. And, uh, uh, also, there are a lot of tools that are copying Facebook, like uh, After Rules uh, or Catalogs, um, uh, that are also very useful and uh, <clears throat> showing good results uh, uh, nowadays uh, mm, for, for example, <laughs> the same e-commerce tra uh, e traffic. Also, of course, we can't forget about uh, um, your own account and uh, Spark ads inside the TikTok, where you can get uh, on the paid followers. After using Spark ads, uh, you will have uh, uh, very cheap uh, followers on your own um, account on TikTok. From my personal experience uh, as a publisher, an account can gain more views and traffic without advertising, and video can go viral just because information provided there is making users visit your profile. The more visits, the more traffic. So, what publishers should concentrate on while promoting on TikTok? The first, I think, and the most important is videos that you use. So, uh, the half of the success is uh, creative um, inside the platform. Uh, so, if you have a good uh, designer or you have a good imagination <laughs> how to uh, create videos uh, and then use them on TikTok, uh, this is the half of uh, your success, uh, uh, of uh, the success of your <laughs> ad campaign. Uh, and, uh, of course, then it goes um, scaling. Mm, scaling on TikTok is uh, a little bit different from uh, Facebook. The speech is more about uh, copies, I think, um, uh, copies of the good uh, approach and uh, mm, <clears throat> dealing with the budget mm, inside your ad campaign. So I think this is uh, the most important point. But firstly goes videos, of course, <laughs> without any doubt. 
how to work in White Hat even if the products can seem kind of hopeless at first glance? Actually, I don't think that there could be hopeless offers because uh, uh, every good has its own um, audience. And uh, first of all, we need to understand uh, in what uh, social network we want to work and where you want, uh, we need to get traffic. So, for example, if you uh, need to <clears throat> sell uh, a good for uh, youngsters uh, in, for example, Asian girls, uh, it is better to use uh, Bigo or TikTok uh, where you may find this uh, kind of audience. And uh, then um, <clears throat> you should think about uh, the suitable approaches uh, uh, that you will use in your creatives, in your aesthetic videos, it depends on the network. And after that, uh, test, 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 um, a lot of different tests uh, on the wide audience uh, to understand uh, uh, whether your audience like your, uh, your creatives or not. So the picture is kind of easy, I think. Will you tell us about your expertise when working with leading advertising platforms? What are the most profitable ones? Interesting question, uh, because the picture is uh, um, changing, I think, very fast. Still, uh, the most profitable is Facebook. Mm. <laughs> Everybody is on Facebook. But uh, uh, the picture after Facebook uh, uh, seems to be uh, different uh, every time. Uh, today, I think, uh, after Facebook goes uh, TikTok. But also, it uh, depends on the geo and the country where you want uh, to target your ad campaign. If we talk about uh, CIS, for example, it's uh, Instagram, then TikTok and then uh, <clears throat> other social networks. But of course, we uh, can't forget about Google, YouTube, uh, and uh, this type of traffic. What should people focus on when choosing an affiliate network? As for me, firstly, it goes support. So uh, what kind of support you get from um, the affiliate network? So if uh, uh, you have a high qualified manager that uh, uh, can answer to all your questions, uh, that is the good affiliate network. Because it's very uh, important to uh, understand how we work, to uh, <clears throat> estimate uh, the numbers uh, that we work with, uh, and uh, to see all the picture uh, inside our um, <clears throat> work with affiliate network. And to the last one, my favorite question, what is the future of affiliate marketing? In my opinion also, uh, the future of affiliate marketing is in uh, making black offers white. So, as we already talked about, uh, for example, white listing uh, or uh, marketplaces, uh, this is the uh, speech more about different approaches to uh, black offers um, and uh, making them seems white to the uh, social network uh, where you um, get in traffic. Kind of science of uh, um, affiliate network is uh, in uh, this case, so where you uh, discovering different types of approaches to different types of uh, black offers. Thank you so much, Alona, for this interesting interview. Thank you, too. Alona shared uh, her expertise on how to earn and work with Facebook and TikTok and how to scale your promotion. I hope this interview was helpful for you. If so, give us thumbs up and see you in the next videos. Thank <laughs> you.